Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can recolor an image using selective color adjustment in Photoshop. The image that we're going to work on here is this image and I want this green color to actually be a sort of gray blue. So we're going to recolor the image using selective color in Photoshop. As always, I'm going to duplicate the background layer because that gives me just a little bit more flexibility. And I'm going to add an adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer, and we're going to use selective color. One of the benefits of selective color is that it allows us to select a color from the image and affect it. So we're going to start with the greens because there's some green and some yellow in this area of the image. So let's go and pick up the greens and see how we can affect them. We have sliders here for cyan, magenta and yellow. The opposite to cyan, and cyan is a sort of blue color, and if we drag in this direction we'll add cyan to the image. The opposite of cyan is red, so if we drag in this direction we're actually going to add red to the image. I'm just going to switch to the yellow layer because there's actually more yellow in this green in the background. I just want to show you this a little more clearly. This is the bluey color and this is the red color. So because we want to go towards a blue, we're actually going to add some cyan to the yellows here. Then we're going to add or subtract magenta. When we add magenta, we're adding a sort of pinky color to the image. When we're subtracting magenta, we're actually adding green. So the opposite of magenta is green. The jury's out on exactly what we're going to do with the magenta slider, but I'm thinking probably about there right now. Now this is where we'll get some real action because adding yellow to the image will make it more yellow and in our case it's just cancelling the cyan that we added to it. But the opposite of yellow is blue. So if we drag in this direction, here's our beautiful blue. We've killed the ends of our knitting needles, but everything else is looking really good right now. So let's just tweak the magenta channel to see if we can get a better blue. So I'm thinking that's sort of perhaps more the blue that I want. And then let's go back to the green channel and see if anything that we do here will impact it. it seems that most of the color in that wool was actually in the yellow channel, not in the green. So you may want to look at associated channels when you're changing colors because sometimes the channel that you think has the color in actual fact doesn't. And in fact, this green channel is not helping us at all. So yellows is where most of the color was. There may have been some color in the cyan channel. So let's just go and see if cyan is going to affect this image at all. No, nope, when it's not getting any effect here at all. So we're going to call that all yellow and call that all good. So now that I've finished with that, I'm just going to close down the dialog. And so this is what we started with, green, and now we've got the blue color that we want. The only problem is that our knitting needles have been killed in the process. So let's go and grab the knitting needle and we can quickly make a selection of that using the quick select tool. I'm making sure that I have the knitting needle layer selected. I'm going to make a really quick selection here. And you can use any selection tool you like, just use your favorite selection tool. I'm thinking the quick select tool is probably a reasonably good option here. I'm going to click on my layer and now I'm going to fill the layer mask. What I want to do is to remove these areas from it. So I want to fill it with black, target the mask, Alt plus backspace on the PC, Option delete on the Mac, fills the mask with this color. And now if I press Control D to deselect the selection, you can see that we now have our knitting needles back in. If we wanted to, we can also paint on this layer. So if I have a little bit of work to do here, I can do that by just painting on the mask layer just to perfect that selection anywhere. I see that I'm getting a bit of unwanted blue in my knitting needles. So the selective color option is a good one to have a look at when you're going to try and change colors in an image. And as we've done in previous color change videos, one of the things that you may want to consider is to see if the color blend mode gives you any better result than the blend mode normal. So we'll just try with normal and then try with color. 
and either of those is going to be just fine. You can see if your mileage is going to be better with one or the other, but this is the original image and this is the recolored image using selective color in Photoshop. Thank you for joining me for this video. I'm Helen Bradley. Look out for more of my Photoshop Illustrator and other video tutorials on this YouTube channel.